Today, I'm going to explain how to edit just a part of the image using masks in Darktable. Here's an example of a picture of a kill deer, and I'm going to show you how to edit just the blue background of this kill deer. The first step is to select the blue background using a parametric mask. What is a parametric mask? Well, it's just a way to select part of the image based on properties of color or brightness. For this example, I'm going to use the Denoise Profiles module. Sometimes the background has a little bit of noise in it, and you might want to use the Denoise Profile module to eliminate some of that noise so it doesn't appear in the image. However, you might not want to apply the Denoise Profile module to the entire image like the bird because it might eradicate some of the details. As you can see, there's a little bit of roughness in the blue sky. This roughness degrades the image and makes it look worse, so it should be eliminated. In order to do this, let's go to the Denoise Profile module. I brought the strength of the Denoise Profile module down to 0.001 so that we can bring the strength up later once we apply the mask. The first step is to activate the parametric mask. In order to do so, click on the icon that says Parametric Mask, which looks like a little circle. Once you click on the circle, you'll be provided with a bunch of options. Now, the interface looks a little bit complicated, but once you get to use it, it's really not so bad. Because we want to select the blue sky, we want to select based on color, so click on H. In later versions of Darktable, this might be labeled HZ. The next step is to isolate the blue color. In order to see if you've done the right job, click on Display Mask. Once you click on Displayed Mask, the entire image will turn yellow. Click on the eyedropper that says Set the range based on an area from the image. This will allow you to select an area of the image. If you select a region of the blue sky, Darktable will select all the pixels which look similar to that based on hue. As you can see, it missed some of the pixels in the blue sky and also some of the pixels on the kill deer are selected. This is not such a big problem if you just want to apply the denoise module because the denoise module on a few pixels will not produce any significant results. However, to clean up this mask a little, you can apply a small amount of mask blur. Over the Mask Blur option, there's also a Feathering Radius option. If you increase that a little, Darktable will make the mask look a lot better. If you'll notice, there's a little bit of yellow on the Kill Deer. This means some of the module's effects will be applied very slightly on the Kill Deer. Again, like I said, the effect of the Denoise module on such a light mask will not be apparent on the Kill Deer. Nonetheless, if you're worried about that, you can go to Drawn and Parametric Mask. This will allow you to eliminate some of the mask on the Kill Deer. Now the display mask has been turned off, so you can turn it back on again. In order to eliminate some of the mask on the kill deer, select the add brush and gently paint over the part of the kill deer which has the yellow mask. We notice that the parametric mask only occurs in the area with the drawn mask. This is the opposite of what we wanted. So click on toggle polarity of drawn mask. Now we see that only the sky has been selected. There's a small amount of yellow left in the kill deer, but the effects of the denoise module in that area will be so small as to be insignificant. Now that our mask has been applied, simply increase the strength of the denoise profiled module. Now, to see the effect, let's zoom in 200% to the head of the kill deer. Let's turn off the denoise profiled module. As we can see very clearly in the blue sky, there's a lot of noise. Let's turn the denoise profiled module back on. Now we see that the noise in the blue sky has been eliminated. Now this might not be apparent in the video. However, when this image is displayed on screen, often I notice this subtle amount of noise in backgrounds, and so I think it really pays to eliminate this noise. And if your background is a single color, using this technique of the denoise profiled module with a parametric mask can easily eliminate it without eliminating any detail on your subject. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I wish you luck with your bird photography.